Hey, Sports Court fans, it's John Wade Boggs fan. Hope you're all doing well. Before I get into today's video, this coming Sunday at 9 a.m. is going to be another episode of Two Guys, One Hobby. Now, other than a technical glitch with my video, uh, Don and I had a great conversation with Alex Bowman53. So you're going to definitely want to check that out again this Sunday at 9 a.m. All right. Card number 19 that I picked up off of my 100 vintage baseball cards for $10,000 list was the 1964 Topps Frank Robinson. And a lot of you in the comments agreed with me that I thought the 64 Topps Frank Robinson card was uh, one of his nicest looking cards out of his entire playing days run. But a lot of you also commented that the image on his 64 Topps card looks very similar to his 1965 Topps card. Well, it just so happens that card number 23 that I recently picked up on my 100 card list is his 1965 Topps card. So I'm gonna turn the camera around, show off the 65 Topps card and compare it to his 1964 Topps card. So let's go take a look. And here it is. What a great looking card. 65 Frank Robinson. This one uh, picked up in a PSA 4. And if you first look at this, Man, you would probably say, as, as I did when I first saw the image on the eBay listing, man, this looks like an absolute great PSA 4. Uh, the centering on it, it may not be perfect, but it is darn near spot on. I mean, that did, to me, the, the centering just spoke to me. Um, well centered. And if you look closely, um, let's see if you can, I can zoom in in here. There we go. Check out the corners. I mean, again, I, I'm not big on corners. They, I, I can go with some creases, dings, corners like that, but those two corners are sharp. That corner's sharp. Even that corner. So you figure, well, why is this a PSA 4? Uh, the back. The back's really nice, centered well. There's a little ink mark there. I don't know. Um, I, that may be through the printing process. I'm not sure, but that could be a factor. But I think what the main factor is, uh, I don't typically like to show off the flaws because especially if it's a card that I like, doesn't matter what the flaws are. But in this case, uh, I think the reason why this got a PSA 4 is that if you notice right there on the side, if I can zoom it in, it looks like a little... Like someone had an indent with their finger, maybe a rubber band or something like that, and it carries on to the back. I don't know if, I, I don't know if it'll show up or not, but I mean, it is so slight, but it is a little indent on the card. And again, at, you know, hand level and stuff like that, you can't, you can't see the, you can't see it. I mean, it is so faint that, Again, it's one of those things you really have to look at to find the flaw, and I love those cards. And in picking this up in a PSA 4, wow, I got an amazing deal. I'll get into the numbers uh, at the end here, but got a tremendous deal on this PSA 4 versus what I thought I would have uh, to spend in what I, the grade I had on the list. So I did very well with this and got, to me, an outstanding looking example of the 65 tops Frank Robinson. So uh, as I mentioned in the intro, um, previously I had picked up his 64 tops and here it is. So we'll put 65 there and here's his 64. Nice card as well, also in a PSA 4. I love these vintage PSA 4s. And at first glance, if you look really quickly, you may say, oh, it's, it's this, the same image. You're very similar. Uh, and in, in fact, it, it isn't. Uh, of course, Topps has, was known 
for uh, using the same image in multiple years. Uh, but uh, as you can see, this isn't a zoomed in, uh, you know, the same photo, but maybe a, a zoomed in image or whatever. Um, he has the same general pose, uh, same, um, you know, the the uniform there with the cut sleeves and the, and the red shirt underneath. But if you notice in this one here, the 64, he's choking up on his bat. Um, and in the 65, he has his hands all the way down at the end of the bat. And then on the 64, if you zoom in, uh, he actually has like a Band-Aid or some wrapping around his finger. And that, of course, is missing on the 65. So again, upon quick glance, uh, it almost looks like uh, the same image, just a, a different, you know, one zoomed in versus the other. Uh, but no, in, in fact, uh, two very similar but different poses uh, for the Frank Robinson cards for 64 and 65. Now, I consider the 64 and the 65 uh, two cards out of, out of the... The big three, I guess you could say, for, for Frank Robinson. I, I think a lot of collectors agree that um, the three cards that, uh, you know, the, the three best Frank Robinson cards in terms of overall design of the cards and the look of the cards is his 64, his 65, and of course his 1959 tops. I, I think a lot of collectors uh, would love to know in the comments if you think so or think differently. That is 1959 tops is his best looking card. Well, a little foreshadowing. You may see a video from me, uh, maybe toward the end of the month, where I show off a picking up a 1959 tops Frank Robinson. So uh, stay tuned, uh, maybe for that video. So let's get into the numbers here. We'll focus here on the. 65 Frank Robinson. All right. Okay. So on my list of 100 vintage baseball cards for $10,000, I had the 1965 Topps Frank Robinson uh, at a PSA 6. And in a PSA 6, I thought I would do good if I could pick one up for $100. Well, as I've been prone to do, uh, I did not pick up a copy in the grade that was on my list and picked up this great looking PSA 4. All in with shipping, with tax, this was an auction. Um, I forget how many bids there were, or how much activity there was. I, I don't think there was a lot of activity, a lot of bids on it. All in. I picked this up for $30. So by dropping down two grades and finding this great copy, I saved myself $70 for, from what I thought I would uh, spend on that list for a PSA 6. Now in terms of actual PSA 4 uh, prices, what are, what are PSA 4s going? So did, did I do good actually picking this PSA 4 up? Well, the current VCP price range for a PSA 4, on the low end, um, there have been some that have sold recently in the last 12 months for as low as $22. Okay, it didn't do that good. The average over the last uh, 12 months has been $34. And again, the VCP pricing does not include shipping and tax. So I did better than the average. Now on the high end, um, a PSA 4 has sold uh, at the high end for $50. So 22 on the low, 50 on the high, 34 average, and I came in under the current average. So I think I did great, in not even uh, including uh, what was on my list for $100, saving $70 there. But even with this PSA 4, I didn't, I didn't overpay at all for the PSA 4. I don't know if people saw that little you know issue there on the side and we and were put off and, and decided not to bid on it but it did not bother me at all all right now for a summary this is card number 23 i can't believe i'm almost at the quarter point uh, on my list when i get to 25 uh, 
following that, I'm going to do a sort of a recap or a summary video of the first 25 cards that I've picked up so far. But this is card number 23. And based on the grade and the estimated price on that list, for these 23 cards that I've now picked up, I thought I would have to spend $2,070. To date though, I've only spent $1,110. So I am $960 to the good of what I had those cards listed for on that list and the price point uh, for that particular grade. So again, I, I continue to knock away these cards on this list. I, I love all these cards that I've picked up so far. A lot of them have been going to player runs, which is why they are uh, on the list. But would love to know your thoughts in the comments on this pickup here for of the uh, 65 tops. Frank Robinson. I would love to know would this little you know issue or flaw, defect, whatever, whatever you want to call it, um, would that have put you off in picking this copy up? Um, what do you think of the overall eye appeal? I I personally think it, it's great, but would love to know um, out there if that would have been an issue for you, and would also love to know how it compares to his 64 tops. Do you prefer his 65 or his 64? And with that, that's all I have for you. So until next time, thanks for watching.